Hello again, this is uh, Craig uh, with uh, YouTube videos a few years later than uh, the other ones I made. This is uh, anaphylaxis in particular, uh, dealing with sort of really hardcore allergies. So I need you to understand that anaphylaxis, you know, the uh, it's a hardcore allergic reaction. It's, it's where the airway becomes impaired, serious swelling on the airway. Uh, you know, it can, it can start with sort of uh, swelling on the hands in the very dry areas. Uh, your your hands, your feet, your back, your uh, your throat, your genitalia, anything like this needs you know you need to sort of uh, start the action plan of uh, consultant dermatologist for advice from your local sort of doctor. Uh, unfortunately, that there's a you know there's a very thin line of no return with anaphylaxis. Uh, people have passed away from it. Uh, generally speaking, if it hits the raspin uh, side effects, then you know, uh, we do need to apply EpiPen in many cases. Uh, but without the EpiPen, and the, uh, there is a tutorial on, on EpiPen uh, in these uh, videos, but I do need you to have alternative treatment. So this is not an EpiPen tutorial. This is without an EpiPen, what can we do? So particle related traumas, big problem. Uh, how do we get rid of them? The answer you need to know is not just wash hands and face. It's a thorough soaking, showering, decontamination, remove the trigger, obvious. Make sure the cat, the, the pets, the smoke, the chemicals are away. Uh, but more importantly, they need a thorough shower. Shower all the areas, uh, the nose, the, the arms, the hair, uh, total change of clothing. Uh, so we need a, a good clean canvas, really, just like we would for asthma, because of the triggers for asthma, triggers for allergens, and the triggers for anaphylaxis. The three things all interlinked, uh, the triangle of dermatology, if you like. So uh, please be up to date with this. Thorough dewashing, sorry, not dewashing, uh, decontamination, really cleanse, wash, uh, open windows, doors, a nice flow of air coming in. Uh, get the child to look up, open up their airway, uh, really have emphasis on that airway, nice and clear, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Uh, but that airway can become impaired, so you might want to encourage nasal breathing as well. Uh, yeah, people do say uh, the antihistamines, the Benadryls, Peritines, Cetrazines, things like that. You can try that, but if the rasping and the throat impairment has happened, uh, it, is, it is quite tough to get through that barrier. So uh, obviously prevention is better than cure. So keep these things uh, at the forefront of your brain in terms of uh, prevention. And any questions, make sure you ask me on the course. But I do want a good thorough uh, knowledge from you in terms of the treatment of anaphylaxia with, with children for the future. Okay, look forward to seeing you then. Take care. Bye-bye.